welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the t-distribution's probability density function. The t-distribution has three inputs. That would be sample standard error, sample mean, and sample size. And let's vary those inputs and watch the interactivity on our chart. So first we'll change sample mean from 30 to 100 and there should not be much of a change on the chart because the t-distribution resembles the normal distribution as soon as sample size exceeds 30, so there won't be much of a change. But if we take that sample size in 30 and drop it down to 5, we will see a substantial change in the graph. So hit enter and there it is. Okay, let's bring that back to 30, the sample size, so it resembles the normal curve again. Okay, and let's change our mean from 0 to 3 and watch that change be reflected in our interactive chart. Okay, hit enter, there it is. Let's bring it back to zero. That's what we're going to create, an interactive Excel chart. All right, and here are the formulas for the t-distribution's probability density function. These two lines of formula create that t-distribution probability density function. And the reason we're doing that is because Excel's formula gives the wrong result for that. We have to create it ourselves, so here we go. Here's how we do it. These are the contents of cell C92. Here are the contents of C94. So we have to create in Excel the T distribution's probability density function. Here's how we do it. Here's C98. You may have to pause the video and go back and take a look at these, but here's how it's done. Here's C102. The contents of C102. C104, and C108, and C112. All right, now let's see where these formulas came from. Let's see the inputs for each one of these formulas. So click on the precedence button in Excel 2003, and we'll see that each one of these formulas received its input from the previous formula or from the degrees of freedom that come from the user inputs come from sample size. Sample size minus one is degrees of freedom for the t-distribution. So let's take a look at that. So all the formulas are derived from degrees of freedom or the previous formula. And let's erase those arrows. And now we're going to create the data for the x and y axis of our chart. There are five columns of data that we need to create right now. So let's take a look at the formulas of each one of those columns. Here is cell C128, D128, here it is. E128, this is the actual formula for the t distribution's probability density function. E128, that's the y axis data. Here's the x axis data, F128. Here it is. And let's see where the inputs for each one of these formulas come from. Hit the precedence button for each formula. And we can see each one of these formulas derives its input from the previous formula or from the user inputs. Now let's erase all of those arrows. Hit the erase button right there. Okay. Now, first column of data is all the way to the left, starts at negative 30, and the next cell equals the previous cell plus one. And we're going to drag that formula down. So select the cell and put the cursor in the corner and wait till that cross appears, then drag the cell down. Just like that. There we go. Negative 30 to 30. All right. And we have the formulas in each one of those on row 128. And we're going to remove the blue color so we don't drag the color down. And we can just drag all the formulas down at once. Highlight all four cells, put the cursor in the corner until the X appears, and then drag that block of cells down. And we'll drag all the formulas down. Now we have the data for the X and Y axis of the chart. Now let's go make the chart. 
Now this is Excel 2003. The chart's fairly easy to make. Just put the cursor anywhere you want and select insert chart. And it's an area chart. Select the first variation of the area chart. Next. Data is in columns. And we're going to insert the Y data. The one and only series of Y data. Add that. And we're going to add a label for that series of data. That label would be probability of T. So you'll see as soon as we type that in there and hit enter, that label will appear on the chart on the right side. We can put in the value. So delete what's in that cell right now and hit the square on the side. And go select all of the data. That would be for the T distribution probability density function. We're selecting all of that data for the Y axis. Okay, and then hit the square in the corner of the dialog box. Data's in the chart. Now do the same thing for the X axis. Hit that little square on the right side and select all the data for the x-axis, that's the column on the right side. Select all that data, and then go up and select the square in that dialog box. Puts the data into the chart. Go ahead and hit next. And we're going to put the title in the chart. That would be the t-distribution probability density function. As soon as we type that in there, that will appear on the chart up top. After we type it in and hit enter. All right, category X is T. There we go. And we'll hit next. Almost done. Hit finish. There's our chart. Let's take our chart and drag it up and put it on top of the original chart that was here. And we'll test out the interactivity of our newly created chart to see if we have made it correctly. Let's size it properly, resize it a little bit. Change the parameters and see if the parameter changes are reflected in the chart. So change sample size from 30 to 100. Shouldn't see much of a change. No, we don't. Now, sample size back to 30. Change it to 5. We will see a change here. Enter. There we go back to 30. Let's change the mean from 0 to 3. We'll see that mean change from 0 to 3. Enter and there it is. We've done it correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.